What is up everybody? Welcome to the channel. If you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button, give the video a like and watch it all the way through because today it's just going to be a short video. I'm going to go out and try sort the camber on the Mini and then get the wheel alignment. Kind of, not all the way to 100% obviously, I'm not going to get it myself 100% so I'm going to obviously bring it somewhere and get the tracking and alignment done but I really want to sort out the camber on the passenger side of the car because on the driver side it's like this perfect but on the passenger side it's like this so we need to take the wheel off and get the bottom camber arm pulled in a little bit and then the tracking on the passenger side is off as well so i'm gonna get that as straight as i can get it so then i can drive it somewhere and get it done i'm not ruining the tires and um, i'm also going to do some measurements on the suspension to make sure that it's the same height on either side and the length from the bottom arm to the subframe is the same because if one of the wheels is more ahead of the other, it's going to cause torques there. And the car is ridiculous with torques there. I've also been talking to people online about getting final drive for the car because apparently that helps with torques there as well. So yeah, let's jump into it, hop out to the Mini, get it jacked up and get this wheel alignment done. So you can see here this side the camera picks it up well this wheel is straight and the camber is nice and straight it's just off a tiny little bit then you come over to this side and you can see it already the front of the tire is pointing out this way and the wheel is really cambered so we're going to pull that in a bit and sort out that alignment as well i just need to turn it twice maybe pull it out that way it'll pull the front of the wheel in and then the bottom with the camber so let's get this done Now, just gonna crack this nut and then hit it with a hammer and get this, this steering straightened up before I do the camber. There we go. Yeah. Turn that like so. Now I need the 21. Stick the 21 on that there. And then I'm nearly sure it is a 19 spanner. And we're just gonna crack this off and spin it back until it meets this hole and that's the job done. Job's a good one. Now I just need to take this inner nut off, nut and bolt for camber and wind that in a bit. Let's go. So the bottom bolt is 17 either side. So we'll just slip that on there. It's the only bad thing about walking on minis. So tight. Now that's that. Now we just need to pull it out and give it a few turns. Right guys, so I'll bring it in here and I'll show you what I've done. So obviously this nut and that bolt comes out. I pulled this out, I loosened, I cracked off that nut, pulled it out, turned it, we turned it four times. So hopefully that's enough to pull it in at the bottom and then hopefully I'll have good camber. It's all tightened up now, I just need to put this back in now and put the wheel on and test it and see what it's like. So let's get this all back together, back on wheels and we have a look then. That's the car down. We're just gonna have a look at this side. As you can see, wheel is nice and straight and wabang. Look at that. That is so much better. Even the camber, you can see, 
is nice and straight. Now I just need to let the handbrake down, let it roll a bit, let it settle, and we'll see what it does then. That's the way the all speed engineering kit works. Uh, I think there's like three ways of adjustment on it. It's, it's a nice bit of kit. It's now like 11, 12 years old. There is a new revised version of the frame. It's more like tubular steel. Now it's not tubular, it's still box section, but he has a bender that bends it really nice where it's not welds. So mine is kind of like a straight and then a weld and then a weld. So now he has a bender that is one piece of metal and it bends around. It's really nice. So I am thinking about saving and building another VTEC Mini, but just for the track. So I don't know whether I want to spend that kind of money on one of them frames because they're like three grand. Then you have to get drive shafts, mounts, loom, bottom arms. Like the drive shafts are 650 euro. The bottom arms are the same. Uh, it's a lot of money. Like the, I think I've spent probably over 20 grand on this car that's why i don't want to get rid of it <laughs> i was selling it a couple of years ago for 10 grand i was like kicking myself if i sold it so yeah guys i really appreciate you for watching the video if you like the video make sure you hit that subscribe button give the video a like and comment i really do enjoy reading the comments let me know what you think of the mini let me know what you thought of the job we done on the mini and if there's anything you need to know about any kind of car that i can help with yeah comment away so thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one and don't forget be dedicated guys peace out and shitty gloves, see you in the next one.